Hello and welcome to a new practical tip, Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Today I'm going to show you how to send an email from a Google Apps Script code. The difference with the difference is that we're going to send not from a Gmail account, but from any other account. As you know, everything related to automating through Google Apps Script can be done just from your Gmail account or your Google account. In this case, we're going to use a useful feature of Gmail to be able to send mails from Hotmail, Yahoo, or any other mails that you may have. So for this, we need two steps and sometimes three steps. The first step is to uh, set up our account in Gmail so that we are able to send emails from the account we want. The second one is to do the, a very small code in Google Apps Script. And the third one that sometimes you may need is to uh, enable your security settings in the original account so that you are able to send the emails. So let's do the first one. We're going to go to our settings, seal settings, and accounts and import. We're going to go to send mail as and add another email address. We're going to add our hotmail or any other address you want. We leave treat as an alias as checked. Gmail automatically brings us the correct settings. I think in almost all cases. If not, you can go here to learn more and to see what are the settings of the depending on the server you are you're working with or the service you are working with. So here, let's give our password. We leave this checked and we don't touch this and let's add the account. Here it has sent a confirmation email to our Hotmail. So let's check it out. Here we have a Gmail confirmation, send mail as, and we can either confirm it via this link or copy the code, paste it here, go to verify, and apparently it works. Go to our Gmail, then let's go back to our inbox try to send an email. Here you can see that normally we don't have this from section, but when we have more than one email to send from, we do have it. So if I go to this dropdown, let's send it to ourselves. And apparently it has arrived from our Hotmail account. It's important to know that you're going to see the email sent in our sent folder in Gmail, but not in Outlook, because it is sending it from Gmail yeah, in the name of Outlook, let's, let, let's say. Okay, so it's working now. Let's see if the code will work. So we're going to create a very short code. Let's call it sent from Hotmail. And if you've already sent any email from Google Apps Script, you'll know that it's very easy. You will just connect to Gmail app or mail app. Any of those two services will work. And we'll call the, the method send email. This send email needs three mandatory arguments. First, the recipient, then the subject line, and then the message. Lastly, we can include a fourth argument there are some options. And here is where we are going to set up Gmail to send it what we did here. Changing this from, we are going to do it with the option from. It's very important that in this from, we only select emails that have been set up as aliases in Gmail. What we did in the first part of this video, if we select an email, that is not set up as being able to be sent from our Gmail, then it won't work. We cannot send from any email, just the ones that has, had given us permissions and what that we have done all the process that we did a few minutes ago. Now we can save and let's run. The first time it's going to ask us some, some permissions, but only the first time.
We're going to select our account, go to advanced, check and say go to whatever the name of our project is, and then allow. Apparently it run. Now let's go to our mail. So as I was telling you at the beginning, we may need another step that here it didn't ask me, but you may receive in your Outlook an email telling you that there is unusual activity and you should go to your to your account to see what's happening. This may also happen in Gmail if you're connecting with another Gmail in Yahoo or in any other of these big services, accounts, iCloud or something like that. Okay, so that's it. I hope it is useful. And even if there is not a lot of code, you may find the code of these and all the videos in the channel in the Patreon page, or you may subscribe to the channel to have uh, a couple of new similar videos every week. Thank you.